Well, we stay in the mining city for the next story, where the annual Montana Folk Festival is continuing today. Our John Amy is there with the latest from the festival. Well, I'm here for the second day of the Montana Folk Festival here in beautiful Butte, America, right here at the original mine yard. You know, they've had a lot of music over the years at this festival, but this year they got something different. They're going to have a beatboxer. Now, I talked to the artist earlier. His name is Rozell. He came all the way from New York City. This guy can use his voice to imitate multiple instruments. Check this out. To master the art of beatboxing, it's all about one thing. Precision, where well, you can't tell whether it's human or machine. Razel is performing the hip hop musical style called beatboxing at the Montana Folk Festival in Butte. Beatboxing got its start in the early 80s when performers started using their voices to imitate drum machines. But to the ear, you want to reproduce it in its entirety. So that's how the, the, the beatboxing evolved until you have to do, you know, five, six different sounds at one time. He noted that using the voice to mimic instruments has been done throughout the centuries and spans many cultures from Gregorian chants to Mongolian throat singing. Even yodeling, like, you know, so yodeling is like the same you know, the same form on how you create beatboxing, you know, because you're using your voice as an instrument. Rozell started beatboxing when he was just nine years old as a way to try to copy the music he was listening to at the time. We just had to imitate these things, you know, we didn't have an actual drum machine or actual drum kit, so we had to kind of like come up with our own style, our own form of what it would sound like. <laughs> In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.